Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, we are going over hand tracking that just came to the Oculus Quest. I'm gonna show you kind of what it does, what it looks like. It's still pretty limited, but it is very cool to see all of your fingers in Oculus Home. Turn on and off the menu like that. Boop, let's turn the menu back on. There we go, very cool. And super, super huge bonus. Not only are we gonna go over some of the hand tracking, what it looks like, uh, how to set it up, turn it on and use it, I'm gonna show you how to update to version 12 manually yourself so that you can update to version 12 on your Quest today. It's super, super easy to do. It'll take you five minutes. You will be up and running and everybody can have hand tracking. So let's jump into it. Tyco Tech, Tech Reviews and Tutorials. Okay, so once you've got the update, or maybe you already have the update, but if you follow the instructions a little later in this video and you update to version 12, you're gonna have to turn on hand tracking. So you're gonna go over to settings, you're gonna click on see all, experimental features, and then turn on hand tracking. I already had it on. When you turn it on, you will see down here, you now have, well here's my hands, uh, but you also have the option to then use controllers. So we can just pinch this to select it, come on. Uh, and oh, there we go, and now we have to use the controllers. Or we can go back over here, click on use hands, and boom, there we go. So let's, uh, let's see, so the only thing that really supports uh, hand tracking right now is the Oculus Home environment. Let's go over to our library uh, and the Oculus browser. Uh, there is a tutorial. Let's go over to tutorials and there we'll see use hands in VR and we'll open it up. And basically it's just showing you that uh, you pinch to select. So this is kind of like your pointers. You can see them on your screen right here uh, and pinch to select and pinch and hold to scroll and zoom uh, or to scroll uh, and then to use the oculus button you're going to turn your hand over and then press once it glows press and hold it and boom and all that does though right now is it turns on or off the menu down below it won't actually reset your view yet which was a little bit odd super short tutorial that is it right there but if you want to turn on and off the menu just press it and you'll see your hand starts to glow blue. As soon as it presses blue, long press it and bada bing, let's go ahead and maybe check out the browser. Uh, we're on Google already, so you can just you know grab to uh, scroll. I mean, this is pretty cool and being able to see all of the fingers uh, in VR is just amazing and it's just a taste I know of what's to come. Now, the part that you've all been waiting for, install version 12 yourself and i've provided a download link down below to a zip folder called quest update download that you're going to unzip it you're going to put it on your c drive and i'll show you what this needs to look like so here is my c folder right here and i've got all right so quest update right there so you want to have quest update on your C drive like that. It's got the update and it's got the ADB that you need to install it. So super simple. You might have to put your headset into developer mode. I'm not exactly sure. Um, if you do, you run into problems. That might be it. I put a link down below to a video I did on how to enable developer mode. It's super, super simple. If you wanna turn the Quest off, and then you're going to long press volume down and power simultaneously, and that will boot you into recovery mode. From there, you will see like factory reset, and you will also see enable sideload update. I forget what it says exactly. Uh, you're going to use your volume buttons to select from one to another. Sorry, I know I'm just so amped here. Select from one to another, and then so use your volume button, highlight, enable, sideload OTA or update. Use the power button to select it. The Quest will kind of go into like a standby mode and the little light on the side will turn purple. Then with your Quest plugged in to your PC, uh, you're gonna open up the command prompt. So just type in search command, like C-O-M-M, -M, there it is. You're gonna open it up. We're gonna change to the directory of the side our quest update. So uh, type in cd dot dot enter cd dot dot enter. That brings you to your C drive, and then you're going to type in cd and then quest update, 
and that will bring you into the Quest update folder like you see here. Now you're just going to type in ADB side load update.zip and you're going to hit enter. You will see a status indicator that it is transferring the update to your headset. Uh, it took me almost 10 minutes, maybe a little less. And then what it's doing is it's, don't worry, this is really safe to do too. So it's, it's just transferring the update file to your headset. Once your headset sees that the update file is complete and it's entirely there, it will just automatically start installing it. So if you lose a connection in the middle of it transferring, you're not gonna brick your device or anything like that. And then you will see in your headset a little green icon or like a little green looks like a, a microchip kind of thing uh, with a status indicator. It updates and then it will restart itself. Boom, you are good to go. Uh, you might not see hand tracking right away. It took me about 10 minutes for that feature to be enabled. Uh, so you might wanna just restart the quest and uh, you'll see it. If not, I think I don't, I didn't even think I restarted the quest. I think it just showed up a few minutes later and I was like, boom. So, but make sure you gotta go to settings, experiments, and enable it and then you're good to go. So this is like super simple, quick video. Let's all get our hand tracking on together. If you guys have questions, ask in the comments down below. Give the video a like if you like the video. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell button if you're not already. I do videos kind of frequently and that's that. I will see everybody later. Thank you.